I've spent the last 15 years devoted to telling the story of people who migrated from the South to the North. So much has been written about the economics of it, the politics of it, uh, the sociology of it. Very little was done about who these people were, why they made the decision, and hearing things from their perspective. And I imagine that there must be amazing adventures and stories to tell. I looked at it as the biggest underreported story of the 20th century. Part of the research for this book meant interviewing over 1,200 people. I had to work really hard to get them before it was too late, because this generation has been getting up in years. It's like the greatest generation, and we're losing them by the day. The book is a book of stories. You know, it has one long arc of a narrative that carries you from the childhood of these people through their life, through their journeys. And I think probably the, the thing that I'm most excited about when I go and talk about the book is these people. I read every word of the book to my mother. I read every word of the book to my mother, and I read every review to her, word for word. She was one of the more difficult of the 1200. <laughs> <laughs> because she really was, she never talked about it when I was growing up. So when I started reading the book to her, she started to talk a little bit more because she would start, it would remind her of things that she had been through. I think that in some ways I probably have been working on the book all of my life because I grew up the child of people who had migrated from the south to the north. My mother migrated from Georgia to, uh, to Washington DC toward the end of World War II and my father migrated um, some years later from uh, Petersburg, Virginia. They would never have met had it not been for the Great Migration. And in some ways, uh, I, like many other African Americans born in the North and West, would not have existed. But my larger goal was to show that this migration and what motivated it was not unlike any other immigrant impulse that these people had the immigrant heart and that they wanted something better for themselves and their children. In that way, they had so much more in common with so many other people in this country. In fact, it is essentially American to want something better for yourself, to always be looking for something better. I think I came to appreciate the sacrifices that my parents made to make this, this journey away from all that they knew.